Hey guys, so nice to meet you. This is Talia without makeup. I know you've never met her before, but yeah. Look like I just got out of bed and it's uh, 2 p.m. <laughs> so I saw this look on TikTok and I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with this makeup look. So cute, I have to try it. So I ordered all the products that the girl used and I was so excited about it, but I showed my mom and she was like, that's not gonna look like that on you because you don't have blue eyes. And I'm like, <laughs> you're right so we're gonna try this out this could either go really really well or i could look like jojo siwa threw up on me so i haven't been using all the same makeup because i don't want it to go to waste since we're in quarantine but i'm using this uh i normally use i normally use this estee lauder double wear sand plays foundation but i'm not even gonna touch that right now because it's not my shade um, it makes me look way too white and it's too expensive, so I'm not even using that right now. So I decided to order the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Foundation. Am I the only one who is still mind blown that this is even happening? Like, I feel like we're in Black Mirror or something, like an episode of Black Mirror. At first, I was like, it's just like an emotional roller coaster, you know? At first, I was like, oh this isn't gonna last very long, like this is kind of a joke, blah, blah, blah. Then I was like, you know what? I can kind of get used to this quarantine thing. My mom making three meals a day, not going to work, not having to go out and see people. I love that. I'm like, you know what? This is just my kind of thing. And what week is it? Week. 500 Not really feeling it so much anymore Do you see how I look like Trump? Look at this. Oh my god But it kind of blends up with my body. My face is always whiter than my body. I think that's the case for most people, but Okay, I just burped. I'm sorry Next I'm going to do some concealer underneath my eyes is me looking at the outside world <sighs> I look out the window every day and I'm just like what is this world we're living in like why us like I'd rather be a fucking alien right now in Mars <sighs> have you guys seen that TikTok that's like the sound of the girl crying she's like <laughs> <laughs> that's me I'm going to put some translucent setting powder that my friends make fun of me for it's called Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It has to be called like 10 names to sound official. If you guys want me to link all these products in the description, I can do that. But this isn't really like a tutorial. This isn't really a tutorial. It's more just like a get ready with me type thing and see what kind of masterpiece we can come up with on our eyes. Because like I said, I like what the girl did, but there's a 99.9% .9 chance that it's not gonna look as good on me. Because I have shit colored eyes. We're gonna try though, you know? We're gonna try. Never give up on your dreams. So I'm sure you guys have noticed that I haven't been wearing my uh, retainer because I'm just snacking all day long. Like, it's just such a struggle. How the hell am I supposed to have a snack if I have freaking Invisalign in my mouth? So I just wear it to bed for now. So my teeth are looking a little straighter, I think. Makeup is just incredible. You can go from like a negative four to like an 11, like me. Catfishing people one day at a time. Okay, now that we look like a ghost, I'm gonna throw some of this blush on there. I just miss my friend, man. What else is new with my life? People are like, so what's new? Like, what, what have you been up to? Like, absolutely nothing has changed. I'm still doing all my music stuff. I mean, I got some dope songs coming, which I'm excited about, but um, that's really all I have to look forward to these days. The fact that I haven't gotten my eyebrows threaded in like two months, but they still look somewhat normal, right? I think. 
This takes serious concentration and I feel like I can't breathe when I'm doing this. Also like my hand always has to be up when I'm doing something like this. Like what is wrong with me? Put your arm down, put it down. Okay, I'm like stalling right now cause I'm really nervous to do this. I'm scared. I think this is gonna go really badly. I think this is gonna look insane, but we're just gonna try. I'm scared, y'all. I am scared. I'm scared. Did I mention I'm scared? All right, let's just do it. You guys probably might not be able to see this, but we're just gonna try. Um. <laughs> What the hell is this? Huh. Mm, not really sure about this. I knew this was gonna happen. My mom told me, my mom warned me, but you know what, at least we're trying. Oh my God, this looks absolutely absurd. <sighs> okay, I need to go take this off. BRB. I might not come back. So after approximately seven years of trying to get this on my eyes and taking it off and putting it back on, taking it off, putting it back on, I think we finally have something. Okay, so um, next thing we're gonna do is put some white eyeliner underneath our waterline, lower waterline. I look like an alien. This kind of looks cool. A little bit, just a little. <laughs> We're gonna go ham on this mascara. I'm proud of myself for wanting to try something new. At least that's a plus, right? It looks cool, I'm not gonna lie, but it would look cooler if I had blue eyes. It looks kind of cool, kind of fresh, kind of cool. Yes. Now for the best part ever. Tip of my nose. One time my highlight was so popping that my yaya, my grandma, thought that I had tzatziki on my nose. If that isn't the most Greek thing slash like me thing you've ever heard, I don't know. I really don't know. Oh my God. Okay. This kind of ended up looking cool. You can't really see because of the lighting, but I kind of dig it. I don't really think that's a good color for this, but whatever. Kind of fire. Okay. So I don't know if you guys can see the eyes, but this is what the eyes look like. Yeah, moral of the story, listen to your mom. At least my highlight's popping. 